I walk away for y'all moment. So I'm, I'm going to let you know it's uh, right here. You're going to feel that. And that's why I want you guys to connect right there, OK? OK. All right. We're going to tell you when. Are we out of the shot? Taylor, I love you. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this woman that you have in my hands right now, God. I thank you, Lord, for me. I thank you, Lord, that we get to become the Jacksons officially, God. But Lord, we are only here by obedience, God. has established that marriage is a symbol of Christ's perfect relationship to his body, the church. And we have come to bring you as one before him today. Nathan and Taylor, let me charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be in mutual consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, and affection. It is the duty of each of you to find your greatest joy in the company of each other to remember that your love pledged today must remain undivided for a lifetime. You came into my life when I was trying to figure out who I am and what God wanted for me. He revealed to me that he had a plan, a hope, and a future. The Bible says that a woman is the glory of a man, and you are the glory that he has talked about. You are my favor. You are my miracle. You are my promise. He showed you me in a dream, and today is the day that he has faithfully <laughs> fulfilled that promise. I vow to love you like 1 Corinthians and reflect God's goodness to you. I vow to lead our family in the Lord and in his word. I vow to always seek him first and cover you and our family in prayer. But most of all, I vow to always go back to our foundation and that is God. would have never thought all those years ago that we would be here. <laughs> that the man that I was admiring from afar wasn't just some extremely attractive guy, <laughs> but that the draw to you was my spirit arising, knowing then that God created me to be one with you. Every detail of our relationship could have only been orchestrated by God. You have shown me that growth doesn't have to be painful, that I can be fully seen, fully known, and fully loved. You have not only loved me well, but Lila as well, and for that I am eternally grateful. For the restoration, the chains broken, and the blessings that are to come. I promise to love you as the man that you are today, and every day is the man that God is molding you into. I promise to choose you and us every day. I promise to always have crazy faith with you and to walk in obedience regardless of the sacrifice. I promise to be your wife, your biggest fan, and your best friend forever. I love you.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. What God has joined together, let no man or woman put asunder. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Jackson. love you guys both. You guys are definitely a great couple. I know it. Um, God is definitely going to bless you guys for your faithfulness and great things are going to happen. We have seen each other grow into the best versions of ourselves and the best moms we can be and still remain the best of friends. I'm so happy she has found her forever in Nate. We all can't wait to see you both go on this amazing lifelong journey together. If there's one thing I know, it will be full of love. to sit down and talk about it and it was like this 30 minute interview with him describing the life that he wanted a wife that would be there by his side they could raise their kids together they could go to games and sports together you know she would be beautiful but most importantly she would love the lord and i'm so happy to say he got all those things in taylor i know this with all of my heart so lila i bow to you that I will always love you, care for you, and be there for you. I will do my best to embody the, the greatest father I know to you, and that is our Heavenly Father. Today, I'm not just choosing your dad forever, but both of you as well. I'm honored that God has chosen me to be a bonus parent to you, and it's not a responsibility that I take lightly. I promise to be the best wife to your dad so that you can see an example of a godly marriage and won't settle for anything less than that as you get older. And I promise that I will always love, support, and pray for you like you're my own. You're the one thing I can't stand to. 